Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to compress a snare drum. I'll be demonstrating this on a standard snare sample, and also be compressing it using the Studio VCA from Logic. So this is what the snare sounds like normally without the compressor. So nice and straightforward. So first of all, we're just going to take a look at the attack and release. We want the attack to be nice and quick. We're going to set that down to about four milliseconds. Anywhere between one and four is quite good. So it comes in nice and quick and it, and it makes it sound nice and punchy. Then we're going to take the release and we're going to increase that a little bit, make it around 200 or so, because then it'll hold on to the transients a little bit more. We would also change the knee here as well, except this compressor doesn't have a knee, but I'd set it to a hard knee, either zero or 0.1. 99% of the time I just put zero, like have a really, really hard knee on it, so it squashes it a lot better. Now we're gonna change the ratio. Now four to one is kind of the standard for a snare, so we're just gonna bring that up to about four. We can go all the way up to six if you wanna really squash it, but we're just gonna leave it at four for this one. And now we can start playing with the threshold. So I'm looking to get about minus five or six decibels of reduction out of this, so we'll see where we're at. Okay, so we're not quite there. We just want to drop this down a little bit more. There we go. So it's actually landing in between five and six there, which is pretty much where we wanted it. Of course, this is all preference. It all depends on how your snare sample sounds in the first place as well, and how much reduction you want out of it. We can go even harder, maybe go six to 10, to squash it a little bit more, and we just give it a bit more makeup gain compensate for the signal we've lost. Also on this compressor we have a bit of distortion, I think a bit of soft distortion on this makes it sound nice and crisp, I'm a big fan of doing that. So in essence that is how to compress a snare, there's not a huge amount to it but as I said it all depends on what you're using and what your preference is. So you need to make sure you get your snare and kick working together and make sure they're solid as a solid foundation for your track. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.